Onwards to the Hardware Labs. Let's see what wonders await us. Technological marvels such as the Looking Glass Terminals are prototyped and developed in the Hardware Labs. Nice. Right, that's our actual objective. I was like, why are we going here again? It's because we need to stop Alex from blocking the signal so that Morgan can finish his video. Cool, okay, right. Shiver and shake. Oh fuck, combat sneak attacks. Press B to sneak if you wish to avoid direct confrontation. Oh boy. Uh, while sneaking, you move silently and can hide behind cover to avoid being spotted. As enemies detect you, a meter appears over them. White means they're suspicious. Red means you're fucked. Okay, so... Oh, wait, it's just running into a wall. Okay, so first thing to do is to save and then hit it with a wrench. <laughs> and see... How much damage they take from being hit with a wrench. Oh, loads. Oh, get fucked. Easy. Oh, they explode. God damn it. Q-beam cells. We need dismantle to take spare parts. What the fuck's a Q-beam? Okay, but they are they are definitely uh, like you can definitely use the wrench on them. That's okay. Dr. Thornstein's office. Hardware Labs director. Okie doke. Hope Ellis. Rest in Pepe. Grab some of this. Hope's email. You're my only hope. Got it. Got him. Nikki Tanner to Hope Ellis. Hey, I sent Larson to the demo theater to see if he can sneak a bottle of old Sada. Join us. Demo delay. Franklin Good. Hope just a heads up that the Artax propulsion system demo will have to be delayed, but we're still we're still working on a slight calibration issue in the machine shop, but it's nothing to worry about. Right. Whatever that means. Um Gimme gimme. Gimme gimme. Boo boo boo. Uh <laughs> man's just got vented. Bye bye. This place is falling apart. This is not good. <laughs> This is definitely not good. Like, we've heard a few major explosions. Too far, too fast, too. And Johnson's time came to an end, paving the way for President Reagan. Even then, the space race was showing signs of faltering, the eager push from previous decades being dulled by the lack of advancement that space had seemed to promise. The Soviet Union had already suffered economic collapse through similar space focus. Many in Washington and the Pentagon found further spending on the space program unpopular, giving rise to a wave of politicians, many of whom had also successfully prevented US involvement in Vietnam, that focused on solving problems at home. Uh, we read that, I think. Yes. Uh, terraforming Mars. But the costs of these Mars installations and their continued maintenance is staggering, and their Spartan shells are a far cry from the idyllic colonies pictured by turn-of-century inspirational space tourism posters. All that might be about to change. In a rare interview, Transtar President Alex Yu reveals his vision of a Mars where families in short sleeves can picnic in a grassy field, then pick out the point of, point of light that is Earth after the sun sets. Enabling this vision requires terraforming Mars, the most challenging engineering problem problem the human race has ever faced. Yu presents an innocuous grey moss to me, an extremophile organism designed specifically for that purpose. Dubbed Takia Catherine, the simple looking plant is actually a fantastically efficient organic machine that given enough centuries will convert the Martian atmosphere into something that very much resembles our own. Given enough centuries, eh? Isn't that always the issue? That is always the problem, is that... Ooh, asteroid fragment. Don't mind if I do. Uh, can I get anywhere from here? Ooh, I actually... There is a second floor. Um, we don't live long enough to do, like, the big stuff, right? Like, terraforming Mars, space travel, like... I'd fucking love to see where, like, space travel and stuff goes in future. I'm not going to see where space travel and stuff goes in future, because I'm going to be long dead. And if we want to terraform Mars, the people that decide, that make that decision to terraform Mars and get that process started, won't be alive to see it finish. And a lot of people that would be in a position to make that happen will simply not bother because they won't be, like, it doesn't benefit them at all. Because they won't be there by the time it's done. 
cooking with cauliflower. Renowned for its versatility and lush aroma, cauliflower can be substituted in many traditional recipes to boost their nutrient payload without compromising on flavor. Faux mashed potatoes, pizza crust, cauliflower cauli fried rice, pellets, and more. Uh, but if you're looking to maximize the health benefits of this dimpled delicacy, then steaming is your best bet. Go for the purple variety if you really want to add a blast of color to your plate, but the actual thing you should do with cauliflower is direct it straight into the bin. Because it is fucking terrible. Do you like cauliflower, dear viewer? Then I'm afraid to tell you, you are wrong. <laughs> you are simply wrong to like cauliflower. You have incorrect taste buds and you should immediately try and fix them. Because they are malfunctioning. Uh, stand clear. Is this... <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I never know if it's glass or not anymore. Is this glass? I'm going to assume it's not. Yeah, no, it's not glass. Okay. Um, so, how... I, I Can I glue my way over? It's possible. I don't think that's glass either. Uh, right. Let's see what's through here first. Oh, fuck. I don't like what's through here. <laughs> I really don't like it. They want to live inside us like a disease. Uh, I'm gonna... Maybe I should try and get a... Oh shit! Oh, I'm done. You know what? This is what medkits are for. <laughs> uh, or like any other food. Doop. Uh, doop doop. Doop doop doop. Doop doop doop. Doop doop doop. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Right. Um. Did this fucking reload? It did. Okay. Oh, I got drunk. My status effect. I got fucking drunk. God damn it. Man, okay. So what the issue there was that I was trying to shoot my glue gun at the phantom, but the glue blobs were getting stuck on the table instead of actually hitting the phantom. And so he was free to have his wicked way with me. And that hurt. Right in the ass. How did I miss a weapon upgrade kit? What the fuck? How did I... What? Uh, is there even anything I want to upgrade right now? <laughs> I really want to just upgrade that further, but I need lab tech one for that. Actually, can I afford... Where was LabTech 1? Oh, I need Materials Expert first. Bummer. Mm. I guess reload speed then. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, right. So, anyway, where was I? There's fucking Mimic over there. You're still around and unhappy. Let's check out the old pistol, shall we? The old pistola. I don't think... I don't have a zoom, do I? No. We're just dealing with the old... Okay. Sure. <laughs> oh!
Where'd that motherfucker go? I don't know. He didn't die. <laughs> He's still around somewhere. Okay, so it takes a lot of pistol shots. Pistol is definitely not, like, the one. It's not god tier, but it did get the job done. So, you know, you can't... Hello, that's a lot of stuff in there. You can't get too mad at it. Uh, right, we don't have that. Uh, now we do. Boop. You win from small-scale testing to small-scale testing. To whomever ga gave dear Mr. Gluey McGlueface arms, aka first shift, I bow to thee. At first, I thought the Jelly Deal hat could not be topped. I stand corrected. Your triumphant creation of baseball glove hands cannot be equaled. Sincerely, the unworthy sh second shift. Uh, if you need supplies... Hello, Clive Lawrence to the group. This is a reminder that if you need supplies from the machine shop, the supply closet's key code is 8321. If you take anything, let me know. Call glue results to Jorgen Thorstein. Stein. Uh, okay, it's just a bunch of shit. <laughs> Thoroughly coated specimen. Da, da, da. Sure, nothing actually useful there. Uh, right. That's that's <laughs> that's Mr. Gluey McGlueface. What a great guy! What an absolute titan of industry. <laughs> Thanks, man. God damn it! I don't have enough room. Hello, my name is Mr. Gluey McGlueface. <laughs> Love it. Huge fan. Huge fan of Mr. Gluey McGlueface. Right. Suit repair kit. Where you at? There you at. Boop. Lovely. Uh, boy, do I need more inventory space already. I just need to... I need to carry around less, like, regular... Um... Regular heels, I guess. Because that's what's taking up a lot of space here, is regular, regular heels. Stores five health and five psi points. When are we gonna, when are we gonna get, like, psi abilities? Also, this, should I even bother taking this with me? I feel like I'm never gonna use this. I don't know. The odds of me using that seem limited. Uh, we got a turret we could repair, but we... Kinda killed everything ourselves. Uh, so I guess we don't need it. Big Bang Candy. Another wrench. Man's got some cookies. Uh, Thaddeus York. From Fallen Scene to Thaddeus... Please keep an eye on Franklin. The man spends far too much time on personal projects and recreational pursuits. We're all human here, I get it, but I'm worried he may try to use the propulsion system to access unauthorized areas. The propulsion system? Did you lose this? From Gus to Thaddeus. Hey Gus. Oh no. Hey, this is Gus down in Cargo Bay. I found something curious in an outbound container on my shift. I think it's a fabricator plan for an autonomous turret. You can make your own turrets. It was stashed with a bunch of old capacitor cells slated for delivery to the Pythias facility. Might have been an accident, but I don't know. One of the officers put it in a safe in the life support security station. If you want it back, talk to them. You're in charge. Thorstein to Thaddeus. Dr. Calvino isn't feeling well enough to present the latest looking glass tech to our visitors, so I'll be away from the labs for an extended period. I've left everything in working order, but just in case, I'm sending you the key code to my office. It's 2687. Perfect. Okay. We know where that is, right? That's the one by the door when we came in. Lots of material... It wasn't this, right? Oh, wait, no, this is it. Oh. Uh, 2687. Alright, okay. Um. Motherfucker. Oh, wait, that's him? Oh, I see. People actually get. Right, okay. I had actually seen a named one before, right? But I hadn't actually twigged that people are turned into these things. Interesting. Okay. Where'd he go? Mother! 
motherfuckers behind me? Okay. <laughs> Not bad. I think that's the director of the lab. Hmm. I have the sense he resented you. Damn. Unfortunate. Uh, Jorgen Thorstein's cabin. Where's his cabin at? I do not know. We also didn't take any damage from that. That's good. I massively enjoy... Oh, it is where I thought it was. That's over there from there. So we could have also just used a blue gun to jump across here, I think. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that would have been viable. This game lets you do whatever you want, however you want to. Beyond the Stars, an unofficial, unofficial Transtar history. Dubbed the Ray's Field Theory, this discovery proved to be the jumping off point for a string of scientific miracles Transtar began churning out less than a year later. Take, for example, the now ubiquitous operators, which take advantage of a localised levitation effect derived from the theory's gravitational outworkings. Indeed, from the matter-stripping field interactions inside the bowels of recyclers, to the artificial gravity that keeps boots firmly planted on the Italian marble of the Talos One lobby, the impact of Dr. Reyes' theory is undeniable. Nice. Boink. This is to the stairs, I guess? Yeah, stairs. Which would lead to the door, oh, my fucking piece of shit! <laughs> no, you fucking don't! Uh. Uh. Whew. Motherfucker. Stairs lead to the door down here, is what I was going to say. Right, we've been in here. We explored this. Did I pick up? I guess I didn't. Why have I. I guess I didn't have enough space. <laughs> But yes, okay. Bearings attained. We know where we are. Uh, doo -doo -doo. There is a safe. Dr. Thornstein's safe. I don't think I have any way of knowing what the safe code is, do I? Unless it's in here somewhere. It might be in here somewhere. Doo -doo -doo. Project. Q-beam in progress, recycler charge in progress, black box, looking glass, Artax propulsion system, glue cannon is complete. Nice. Why is there so many copies of this everywhere? <laughs> uh, my new reployer from Deo Igwe to Thorstein. Uh, I just wanted to write you personally and thank you for the new reployer. I know some people have been on waiting lists to get one of these and it was a pleasant surprise to find a new one in my office this morning. It is this feeling of gratitude that makes it awkward for me to trouble you further. However, if you could spare one of your engineers for a bit, it would be great if they could swing by and show me exactly what it does. <laughs> I don't know what it does either. I, oh, fuck's sake. Lawrence, uh, we wanted to clear a Morgan request again. Morgan was down in hardware today, just standing there as if not sure where to go. And when I offered to help, Morgan asked me for more operator parts. I asked if the last ones we'd sent hadn't been sufficient, and I got a blank look. I mean no offence, but Morgan's requisitioned enough to repair any operator in the station five times over now, and we have other operators that need maintenance. Rip. rip a -roni. Trying to think if, uh... Like, if he'd use this as, like, a... way to... show what his password is or something. Like, normally passwords... So it's got to be something to do with like this or the the scientific element thing, right? Normally people keep their passwords somewhat close at hand if they don't just remember them. I just remember mine. Motherfucker, someone's got to sort out this station. Uh, but I'm not seeing anything that's really giving me much in the way of hints. Oh, wow. I almost walked straight past two neuromods. That's crazy. That would have been terrible. Uh, do 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 do. Hello, suit modification two. Hell yeah! <laughs> so now we need six for suit modification three. I'm going to have to get this. 
I'm like, I'm thinking, is that enough? Should I not get this for the time being? I just, oh, inventory management, man, it makes me want to die. But being able to upgrade stuff, upgrading shotgun damage is going to be huge. Upgrading glue incapacitation stuff is going to be huge. Uh, and then also just like this stuff, hacking. I don't know. There's so much. There's so much. I wonder if it's a game where you can get everything by the end, or whether it's a game where you've got to pick and choose because you're not going to get everything by the end. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, right, that's that door. That's the stairs. Was there another door? I thought there was another door. No, that was it. Okay. Uh, we did do that. Yes. That's where we came in from, I think. Is it? Yes. This is new. We have not been through here. Atrium. Is there any more spooky boys around? Is question number one. A lot of station tech starts here. Lab equipment. Special parts requests. Prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. Oh. That side of the lab was breached. Hard vacuum. No gravity. There's an exterior airlock in the machine shop you could use to reach him. You'll have to upgrade your suit with a propulsion system first. Oh, yeah? Zero-G propulsion system. Atrax fabrication plan. Oh, we've heard about that. And then we get in here, and there's a key card here I can use. Huh. Well, that's certainly interesting. But let's, like, explore all of the inside of this place before we go outside. What is this? Spare parts. Don't mind if I do... bad times down there. There is a health thing down there. But it feels like they're baiting you <laughs> by putting it behind all that. Uh, the last frontier is the human mind and we are its pioneers. Med bay. Hang on. Uh, take your ship. Ooh. Hello? Hey, it's Langley. Are you a... Is there anything weird going on over there? No, like what? I don't want you to panic. What is going on, Langley? Not sure yet. Security's running all over the place. So, everyone's still working there? I guess, I don't know. I've been in the lab all day, hang on. I'm looking now. I don't... Unfortunate. What was that? Oh my god, I think we just lost two labs. What? I have to go. Unfortunate indeed. Oh! Wait, did we already have that? No, I don't think we did. Did we? No. Uh. Or did we? No, I think we did actually. Fuck. <laughs> well, we would have it now. If we didn't. Nah. Nah, bro. Not about that life. Not about that surprise fucking life. Not feeling it. Oh, you motherfucker. I hate you so much. I've literally never jumped as much in an LP as I have in this one. And we've only just started. <laughs> the game's just beginning. And I've already jumped more than anything else. Hello? Explosive canister? Please? Get the fuck out of my way. Oh, good. There's a lot of corrupted motherfuckers. This can only go well. We need to get all the way over there. What is that? Caution. I wonder if the turrets recognize the corrupted motherfuckers as enemies. Or not, because it's just a turret. Logging self-diagnostic. List. Repairing maintenance protocols. Files are 
I'm not seeing any alien boys. I think it's just these guys. In which case, maybe we can just pistola them. Oh shit, they fly up this high. Oh, hello. Is he exploding? Oh no, he's not. I thought he was exploding, but... Motherfucker's got a flamethrower? Okay, you know what? Let's go back to the old pistola. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go back to the old wrench. Oh, and get away, get away, get away. Ooh, okay. Yeah, the pistola was not doing much to them. Definitely wasn't vibing on the pistola particularly. Did the other one die as well? I think it did, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, it did. Good. Fuck me. Uh, hello. Warning, cargo conveyor scheduled maintenance required. Do not operate. What if I... What if I do operate? How about that, huh? Fuck you gonna do? So I just moves that over there. Right. That, in fact, breaks it. I just saw a mimic health bar. Hello. Oh, multiple mimic health bars. Why? <laughs> uh, how did you dodge that? Are you insane? Broken cooler fan, spare parts, neuromod. That's huge. Okay, there's definitely another one somewhere. Oh, get away! Keep forgetting. <laughs> I keep forgetting they're going to explode. Uh, let's nom on a bit of this. Oh! <laughs> Fuck off. Oh one two one do one, motherfucker. Uh, right, that's what, yeah, we just did that. Okay, anything else down here? No. Something in here. I'm feeling like I shouldn't walk into that. There's a phantom? Oh, motherfucker. See you later, mate. Not right now. Not right now. <laughs> Not feeling it. Emails. The Huntress is ready from Mary Malinaro to Clive Lawrence and Franklin Good. Okay, guys, I think it's ready to go. I've dubbed it the Huntress Boltcaster. Clive, I love your idea for capacitive tips on the bolts. Send me a technical spec and I'll incorporate it into the ammo fabrication plan. Those tips will activate any touchscreen they hit. Uh, I've gathered a lot of trash for feeding the fabricator so we can make some of these after work and try them out. Right, cool. Uh, missing operator parts. Uh, to do... Danielle show to Clive Lawrence. Have you looked into the operator dispenser logs and the missing parts? Every operator on the station needs to be accounted for. I'll bring it up with Alex. Please do. It's not my responsibility. It's Morgan's. Fabricator malfunction. Uh, Dr. Thorstein, I checked the neuromod stamps and the lattices in the fabricator and both check out. There's no obvious failure in, the, failure in the components. I may need to disassemble the machine. It's possible there's something in the specs Igwe is using that's causing the failure rate. Hard to believe. He's pretty thorough, but we all make mistakes. I'll keep working on it. Maybe there was something specific about that batch. Weren't there a few scrambled ones last cycle too? Hmm. Thanks for the update. I'll handle it from here. Hmm. hmm. Something's up, but I'm not entirely sure what. Every airlock has a manual seal you'll have to disengage oh. before you can spacewalk. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. If you do go out there... I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. Really? And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be opened from the inside first. Interesting. Last okay. Thing, you don't have a propulsion system for your suit yet. You'll need one to maneuver. Unlocked the airlock for hardware labs. One of five opened. Cool. Holy shit, does that mean... So it's... 
So you have to open them from the inside first. That's their way of making you go everywhere in the station manually. But that means that once they're opened, the fast travel is going to be going outside the station and just flying to another airlock and going back inside. I think that's what that's saying. Propulsion system required. That's really cool. Before you can use them, you have to disengage the manual seals. More freedom you'll have to navigate through and around the station as you wish. Man, this is this is awesome. <laughs> this is actually such a cool game. I can't believe it's taken me six years to get around to playing it. <laughs> and they've never made a sequel. Hello, how do I get in here? Uh... Oh, that <laughs> doesn't actually. Oh, hello. Uh, how do I get in here? Oh. I see. I recycle the charge. Oh! Thank you for not attacking me. I do appreciate that. Just kind of made me jump and then left. Uh, moon door. What the fuck is a moon door? Is that a moon door? Dang. Oh, you piece of shit! You dirty motherfucker. You absolute fucking motherfucker. Storage room, hello. Ah, oh, I remember getting this. 8321. Die. Ooh, not nice, not nice, not nice. Oh. <sighs> God damn, dude. Wait, there's more. I hear it. Wait, there's an actual space up there. Oh. Neuromod. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yum, 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 yum. Weapon upgrade kit. Glue canisters. Oh, man, lovely. Clive, we need to speed up the reload speed on the glue cannon. The actuators are slow on this thing. <laughs> Why is that blinking red? What is... Oh, that's radiation. Oh, okay. We don't want to go near that. Right. Uh, is there anything I can do about that? <laughs> can I? What if I go near it on the inside? Am I fine on the inside? I'm fine on the inside. Okay. <sighs> there is another mimic in here. Somewhere. Uh, hello, what are you? You're something. I don't know if I can do anything about this. Oh, there's a thing down there. There's multiple things down there. Can I, like, glue it up? What happens if I just, like, encase it in glue? Does that stop the radiation? Nope. <laughs> but I can, like, run in and grab that. Ugh! Wrench fabrication plan. That's not useful. Uh, right. Do I have any more recycler boys? Do I have one more recycler boy? I do. I do have one more recycler boy. I really hope that I find more of these or find a way to make these. Because, uh... Super useful. So fucking useful. Like, that is huge. Right, hello, motherfucker. Got him. Uh, suit repair kit wouldn't go amiss right now. Lovely. Uh, and then let's down the hatch. Uh, do I care about the five side points? No. Because I can't use them yet, so it's kind of whatever. And let's... Oh, that's just something to put in, the... in a recycler. Okay. Uh, I need to find out what a Q-beam is. Weapon kit fabrication plan? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's kind of huge. That is kind of huge. You can fabricate your own weapon kits? My hypos for days. Neuromod. Oh, lovely. 
Typhon Lure. Oh my god, that's creepy. What the fuck? A Typhon Lure, aka Nightlight, emits a psycholuminescent signal that entices Typhon to move toward the lure for a short period of time. Combine with other weapons or tactics to escape, ambush, or observe Typhon from a safe distance. Huh. Alright. The Starbender Cycle. Book 2. My Enemies, Enemies, Enemy. <laughs> what? I don't think I've found Book 1, have I? As the Mordrax Scream Flayer crumpled to the ground in front of her, Mercy flexed her fingers. They ached from all the choking. Oh boy. I see what this is. This is a meme series of <laughs> in-world books. Uh... Trevor rounded the corner behind her, Faze Pistol still, still smoking, the cries of the Mordrax hot on his heels. Mercy grunted. I don't get it, Trevor. Why did you spring me from this kill prison? I've tried to off you, like, seven times. Trevor replied between blasts of his pistol. Because you're the only one who's come close to killing me. Another blast. And you're the only one I can trust. We're going to steal the Starbender prism out from under Prince Argon's nose. Mercy could only smirk. Her fingers were feeling better already. <laughs> Sure, yeah, I look forward to finding more of those. That is good memory. Fantastic memory, in fact. Okay, is that everything in here? Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah. Cool, okay. Um, do I want to repair this? Oh, it requires repair three. Never mind. Do I want to go fuck myself? Sure. Guess I will do just that. Right, now we could, um... We could glue our way up there. Is there any better way of getting up there? Just jumping. Just jumping works pretty well. He says, as the jump does not grab. Is this not a thing? Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, my goodness. I guess I... Oh, right. I was being pinned down by this, I suppose. Hello. Don't mind if I do. Um... Okay, I want to see what's on there. Not sure how I actually go about getting to there. Whoa, is that a slide? Oh, I have a slide. I didn't realise. That's cool. Uh, right, goodbye. 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 I have four neuromods. I can do something with that. Hooray! Let's get rid of some bits and bobs, I guess. Uh, do I need three Popstar energy drinks? No. Wait, I have another weapon kit I haven't used. Uh, do, do, do. Let's get rid of three of you. Oh, and I missed you. And three of you, sure. Okay. Nice. Uh, is there anything I want to make? We have a bunch of stuff we can make now, which is good. Uh, how much is a weapon upgrade kit? Three and three. That's not much. We can make re weapon upgra upgrade kits for days. We just don't have... We need to neuromod our way to, um, like, being able to spend them, right? Um, that's only two away. Maybe I should just get this next. It's so tempting. <laughs> it's so tempting to just wait and get that, but I should probably... This is to upgrade glue gun, and this... I could go straight for this. Upgrade shotgun. Oh, at some point I'm going to be able to fabricate shotgun shells. I can't do that already, can I? No. I can make bullets for the pistol and I can make glue canister, but I cannot make shotgun shells currently. But I bet you that is a thing that I will be able to do at some point. Um. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know. Mm, let's go with this. And then... Hmm, I should, I might, uh, I should probably get that as well. That's a one-time thing. Uh, and then th seven to get to the glue gun upgrade ones. Right, let's, uh, 
Not that. Not that. <laughs> this. Wait, what? I already upgraded firepower. Oh. Oh, it's unique. Right, I need to I need to throw the wrenches and stuff in there as well, actually. it's The upgrades are unique to the weapon. Okay, that's a little bit worrying, actually. <laughs> I need to make sure I never accidentally get rid of the wrong weapon, or all the upgrades you've spent on it are gone too. Right. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, let's, let's be really careful here, then. And we recycle you... You can't upgrade a wrench, so that's whatever. Okay. That's it, right? <laughs> I, I forgot that I had... I was like, man, even when I put all this stuff in the recycler, it still feels like I've got no inventory space. It's like, yeah, because you've got like five additional weapons that are just copies. Alright. Um, well, then, I mean... Yeah? Let's see where that takes us. Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, ammo capacity, probably good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I mean, we could do more. <laughs> we have more available. What does some of the other stuff cost to make? Uh, Psy Hypos... Don't use any of the orange boys. We're never going to make a wrench. Those use green and black. Okay. Bullets. Bullets are a big fan of the black. And med kits. How many bullets do we have on us right now? Uh, we have... Do, 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 somewhere... I'm being blind. Hello. 14 shotgun shells and... Uh, whatever the fuck that is. 52 of you. That's kind of like plenty, I feel, at the moment. And lots of glue canister. Alright, uh, well in that case, let's keep going then. Let's give you more ammo capacity. And then do I want to do the pistol again? Uh, 15 to 17 is pretty good. Although, increased accuracy... Wait, zooming? Hmm. Maybe accuracy would be good? I mean, 15 is already a lot. Enhance precision. I feel like it was already fairly precise, but maybe? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Right. Uh, oh my god, we have all this material. Lovely. Here is the propulsion system. I assume the material we've just picked up is going to be used to... Uh, <laughs> actually craft it. I forgot I'd actually have to craft it myself. That is a good point. Worth remembering. You know what? This is going to be where we leave it off. We haven't actually picked it up yet, so we'll do that at the start of the next part to remind us where we are. Uh, and yeah, that is another very successful couple of bits. I keep letting time run away with me. <laughs> I'm not intending these parts to be as long as they are, but I guess it's fine that they are because it is kind of a big game and not like a ton is getting done in each one, I guess. So, um... I guess it's fine to have longer parts for these, but like, I was just like, I'm so in, and then I look over at the time, and it's like, you've been recording for <laughs> way longer than you intended. Oh, well, shit. So, yeah, that is that is fine. Yes, when we come back, we will pick up the propulsion system. We're going to read a bunch of emails, and then it sounds like we might be going outside, which would be pretty cool. 
In fact, I think it definitely is what we're doing in the next part. So I'm very excited for that. Hope you were enjoying. If you are, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Prey. Thanks for watching. See you then.